is the first screen you will see when you log into Hoku for the first time. You will have two options, new enrollment or track application. If you are a new Hawaii Medicaid provider, you will select new enrollment. If you are a Hawaii Medicaid provider and received a letter with your application ID number, you will select track application and input your application ID number on the next page. As a new provider, you will need to select an enrollment type. To find out which enrollment type your provider type is categorized as, please visit the HOKU webpage at medquest.hawaii.gov forward slash HOKU and click on the Resources tab. Then, click on the HOKU Waves and Provider Enrollment Type link. The term FAO stands for Facility, Agency, or Organization. FAO would include agencies such as hospitals, nursing facilities, and pharmacies. If you are a group provider and have an NPI, you would fall under this category. Select your enrollment type and click Submit. All the fields on this screen with an asterisk are required fields and need to be filled in. Here you would enter your legal entity name, entity business name, taxpayer EINTIN, NPI. Select whether you already have a MedQuest ID. Select whether you have any other application ID for the entity. Select your W9 entity type from the drop-down menu. And select your profit status from the drop-down menu. Click Finish. Please ensure you jot down your application ID number on a piece of paper. You will receive an email with your application ID number within 24 hours, but it is handy to have your application ID written down somewhere so you can quickly reference and pull up your application later. Please note that as a provider, you will have 30 days to complete your application once you log in. If you do not complete your online application in HOKU within 30 days, you will need to re-enter your information again. Click OK at the bottom of your screen. On your dashboard, you will see that Step 1, called Provider Basic Information, is now complete. For Step 2, click on the hyperlink called Add Locations. You will need to enter a primary practice location. Click Add. All fields with an asterisk are required fields and need to be filled in. First, enter your street address and zip code. Click Validate Address and HOKU will auto-populate the city, town, state, province, county, and country fields. In the box below, enter the hours that your office is open each day. Note that you will need to enter hours for every day of the week. For any days that your office is closed, select Closed from the drop-down menu. Select Yes or No from the Handicap Accessible drop-down menu and select Spoken Languages from the Languages Spoken drop-down menu. Then click OK. 
On this screen, you will receive an error message that says, Pay to address is required for primary practice location. Click on the hyperlink called Primary Practice Location. Scroll to the bottom of the screen and click Add Address. Select Pay To from the Type of Address drop-down menu. If the Pay To address is the same address that you entered on the previous screen, select Copy This Location Address and Hoku will auto-populate the rest of the required fields on the screen for you. Click Validate Address. Click OK. Your added Pay To address displays at the bottom of the screen. Click Save and then click Close. If you have multiple locations, click Add and follow the same process as you did previously. Click Close. Step 3 is Add Correspondence Address. Click on the hyperlink, then click Add. Enter your primary telephone number, and select Email or Standard Mail from the Communication Preference drop-down menu. If you select Email, enter an email in the Email Address field. Both Email and Standard Mail Communication Preferences require a correspondence address. Enter your street or P.O. box address and zip code. Then click Validate Address and Hoku will auto-populate the rest of the required fields on the screen for you. Then click OK. On this screen, you will see that your correspondence address was successfully added to Hoku. Click Close. Step 4 is Add Provider Type, Specialties, Subspecialties. Click on the hyperlink. Then click Add. Being a provider, you will need to select your FAO provider type from the Provider Type drop-down menu. As for Specialty, you would select No Specialty Required, if applicable. Click OK, then click Close. Step 5 is the Associated Biller, which is an optional screen. To show that you completed this screen, click the hyperlink Associate Billing Provider, then click Close. Step 6 is to add a license, certification, or other documents. Click the hyperlink Add License, Certification, Other. As a reference, MedQuest has posted a table with the required licenses and certifications for each provider type at medquest.hawaii.gov forward slash hoku. Click on the Resources tab and then click on the link Required and Optional Licenses, Certificates, and Documents by Provider Type. This table indicates the required licenses and certifications for each provider type. Close the web page. Click Add. Select the license or certification that you will need based on your job position. For example, as a pharmacy, you would select the Drug Enforcement Agency from the License and Certification drop-down menu. Enter your DEA number. Select the date your license was effective. Click Confirm License, Certification, Other. Then click OK. Click Add on this screen. As a pharmacy, you will also need your Narcotics Enforcement Division license. Select Narcotics Enforcement Division from the drop-down menu. Enter your narcotics license number. 
Select the date your license was effective. Click Confirm License Certification Other. Then click OK. Click Add on this screen. As a pharmacy, you will also need your Hawaii Board of Pharmacy license. Select Hawaii Board of Pharmacy from the drop-down menu. Enter your license number. Select the date your license was effective. Click Confirm License Certification Other. Then click OK. Once you finish adding all your licenses, certificates, or other documents, click Close. Step 6 is now complete. Next is Step 7, which is additional information. Here is where you would enter authorized signers for claims and to sign documents. There is also a section on bed information. Bed information pertains to hospitals and nursing home providers. To add an authorized signer, enter the first name of the representative, their last name, middle name, and add the start date of when you would like to add them as an authorized user. Don't forget to select the end date of when you would like to have the person end as an authorized user. Then click OK. If everything looks OK to you on this screen, click Close. Step 7 is now complete. Click on the hyperlink for Step 8, which is to add provider controlling interest ownership details. Read through the Per Medical Provider Manual. The following ownership entities are an example. Then select Add Owner from the Actions drop-down menu to add yourself. Select Managing Employee from the Type drop-down menu. Enter 0 in the Percentage Owned field. Then enter your Social Security number, your first name, last name, your birth date, phone number, and when you became a managing employee. Then enter your street address or P.O. box address in the address line 1 field. Enter a zip code and then click Validate Address. Hoku will auto-populate the rest of the required fields on the screen for you. Click OK. Select Add Owner from the Actions drop-down menu. Select Limited Liability Company from the Type drop-down menu. Enter 100 in the Percentage Own field, then enter the LLC's Taxpayer EIN TIN, Legal Entity Name, Entity Business Name, Phone Number, and Start Date for when the LLC was incorporated. Then enter your street address or P.O. Box address in the Address Line 1 field. Enter a zip code and then click Validate Address. Hoku will auto-populate the rest of the required fields on the screen for you. Click OK. Now you need to add board members. Select Add Owner from the Actions drop-down menu. Select Chief Financial Officer from the Type drop-down menu. Enter 0 in the Percentage Own field. Then enter the CFO's Social Security number, first name, last name, date of birth, phone number, and start date for when they were appointed CFO. Then enter the CFO's street address or P.O. box address in the address line 1 field. Enter a zip code and then click Validate Address. 
Poku will auto-populate the rest of the required fields on the screen for you. Click OK. Now, you need to add another board member. Select Add Owner from the Actions drop-down menu. Select Chief Executive Officer from the Type drop-down menu. Enter zero in the Percentage Owned field. Then enter the CEO's Social Security number, first name, last name, date of birth, phone number, and start date for when they were appointed CEO. Then enter the CEO's street address or PO box address in the address line 1 field. Enter a zip code and then click validate address. Hoku will auto populate the rest of the required fields on the screen for you. Click OK. Now, you need to verify Owner Relationships. Select Owner Relationships from the Actions drop-down menu. Select Yes or No. Note that most providers on this screen should select No, unless you are a pharmacy. Once you select No, click Save. When the window pops up, select OK, then click Close. Now you need to verify Owner Adverse Actions. Select Owner Adverse Action from the Actions drop down menu. Read through the final Adverse Legal Actions Conviction Statement. Select Yes or No in the Response column. If you select Yes for any of the owners, add an explanation in the Comments field. Click OK. On this screen, you can see that the relationship status is now complete for all the owner types, as well as the adverse actions. Click Close. Step 8 is now marked as complete. Next, click on Step 9, which is to add taxonomy details. Click Add. If you do not know your taxonomy, click on the arrow next to the taxonomy code field. On this screen, MedQuest Division staff like to use the F8 or Find key to look up their taxonomy code. After you press the F8 key, type in your provider type and press Enter. When your keyword or keywords are found, it will highlight yellow. Next, copy the number next to your provider type and close the window. Next, click Add. In the Taxonomy Code field, paste the provider type number that you copied from the previous screen. For the Start Date field, enter today's date. Then click Confirm Taxonomy at the bottom of your screen. If it is a legitimate taxonomy number, no error message will display. Then click OK. Double check this screen to ensure your provider type and taxonomy code displays. Then click Close. Next, click on the hyperlink called Fee Payment for Step 10. Click Add. Select a fee payment option. If you select an option that you have already paid, select the date you paid and enter the confirmation number for your payment. Click OK. Double check this screen to ensure your fee payment displays. Then click Close. Next, click on Step 11, 
which is where you will upload documents such as copies of licenses, certifications, and other documents. Click Add. Select the document type you are uploading to Hoku from the drop-down menu. Examples include your fee payment receipt, CMS approval letter, licenses, certifications, GE tax, and W-9. In this example, you would select fee payment from the document type drop-down menu. Select fee payment receipt from the document name drop-down menu. Select your document for upload by clicking browse. Click OK. Click Add. Select Letter from the Document Type drop-down menu. Then select CMS Approval Letter from the Document Name drop-down menu. Select your file for upload by clicking Browse. Click OK. Click Add. Select License from the Document Type drop-down menu. Then select Drug Enforcement Agency from the Document Name drop-down menu. Select your file for upload by clicking Browse. Click OK. Click Add. Select License from the Document Type drop-down menu. Then select Narcotics Enforcement Division from the Document Name drop-down menu. Select your file for upload by clicking Browse. Click OK. Click Add. Select License from the Document Type drop-down menu. Then select Hawaii Board of Pharmacy from the document name drop-down menu. Select your file for upload by clicking Browse. Click OK. Click Add. Select from the document type drop-down menu if you are local to Hawaii. Then select GE Tax License from the document name drop-down menu. Select your file for upload by clicking Browse. Click OK. Click Add. Select Tax from the document type drop-down menu. Then select W9 Indicator from the document name drop-down menu. Select your file for upload by clicking Browse. Click OK. On this screen, you can double check to see that all the required licenses and certifications have been uploaded to Hoku. Click Close. Step 11 is now complete. For Step 12, you will need to complete the Enrollment Checklist. Click on the hyperlink called Complete Enrollment Checklist. If you need to request a retroactive or future enrollment date, select Yes under the Answer column for the first question and add your comments in the Comments column. Then, answer the rest of the questions on the checklist and select Yes or No from the drop-down menu. Then click Save and click Close. Step 12 is now complete. Click on the Step 13 hyperlink called Submit Enrollment Application for Approval. Click Next to advance to the Disclosure page. After you read the disclosure, scroll to the bottom of the screen and click the checkbox. Then click Submit Application 
at the top of your screen. Your enrollment in Hoku is now complete. A message will display at the top of your screen saying, your application number has been successfully submitted for state review. Return with this application number to track the status of your application. If you would like to track the status of your application, select Track Application from the Provider menu. Then enter your application number in the Application ID field. Click Submit. A message will then display saying your application is currently in review by the Provider Enrollment Unit. You cannot make any modifications to your enrollment information at this time. Mahalo for attending this training for Hoku, Hawaii's online Kahu Utility System, MedQuest's new web-based provider enrollment system. We hope it was helpful. More information about Hoku can be found on MedQuest's website, medquest.hawaii.gov. Finally, on behalf of MedQuest, mahalo nui loa to you and for your commitment to Hawaii's Medicaid beneficiaries. Aloha.